late on that one. Damn it, we went before wow. and late. Wow. <laughs> back to back weeks. Fuck it. Wow. <laughs> Episode 24. I've been messing up the numbers, but frankly, I just don't give a shit. What's up, everybody? It's the All Day Everyday Show with All Day AJ and the homie Manny Ruffin. You already know yeah. Cracking this corner, man. You already know yeah. what's cracking this corner. Partnered with Vendetta Sports Media, presented by Monkey Knife Fight. Look at this. I got something. I got a little toy. Um, How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. Presented. Presented. I can't forget about it. Oh, shit. My fault. I got to listen to your intro. I got I to, you know, Go add the ocean. Presented yeah. by Monkey yeah. Knife Fight. If you want to play Monkey Knife Fight, head over to monkeyknifefight.com and deposit using code VENDETTA, all capitals. They will match your deposit up to 100% and up to $100. So go over there. Play more or less. We're going to be doing the same whenever the hell that happens in PA. And um, play with us, man. We're going to have we're gonna have a good time doing that. Time to make some money. It's more of like a fantasy type thing. It's not like a general like FanDuel or DraftKings. Like you're not going to be looking to bet on, you know, Suns minus four and a half in the NBA Finals. But if you want to say Booker over 29 and a half points, Giannis over 12 and a half rebounds, and P.J. Tucker over six and a half rebounds... You know, you pick those or you pick the, the less or the under and then put your money down and, and that's really what it's it's like. So if you want to do something like that, kind of like a same game parlay-ish, then go over there and play that. So we're going to get into that whenever the hell that happens. But um, other than that, we have massive shits to talk about. Man and I have been like arguing for like the past hour while we've been setting up because apparently I'm just pushing buttons today for whatever reason. So. No, 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 no. You weren't pushing my buttons, bro. You, you, I pushed your buttons, bro, by calling you out on that dumbass bet. <laughs> but it's all, it's all good. Like you feel me? I, I, I just want to see my guys win money, man. If you want to listen to my advice, don't listen to my advice. All I'm gonna say is I haven't lost a bet that I put out on air. We can go back. We can go back to the Suns. We can go back to the Colts. We can go back to. We can go back to Houston. Oh, not Houston. Uh, Baylor. We can go back. I just try to give advice to my dogs because you know I'm usually right. You know what I mean? He's a jackass. And, 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 and the people ask me, well, why don't you, why don't you bet right now? Why don't you bet right now? Motherfucker, coaches don't play. Oh, my God. This is what I've been dealing with for the past hour. Coaches like, don't play? Feel me? I, I got responsibilities. I'm a grown-ass man. I can't buy a $400 mic trying to gamble. You feel, yo, I'm, trying to be, I'm trying to be a good man here. But we still have to send that back, by we the gotta, way, too. We, yeah, we got it. We got it. I'm trying to adult here. I'm trying to make sure I can buy equipment for my, for my profession. Mm-hmm. Instead of gambling all my money away, like an irresponsible human being, Alex. Hey, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Life's a gamble. You just got to pick right. This is a gamble. That's my motto. All right. That's my motto. Should I write that on a t shirt? Besides that, your dumbass bet. <laughs> yeah, I bet on uh, Italy and Spain yesterday and uh, we lost. Had the over at two and a half and it ended This guy took an over in an Italy Spain. Let me get this out of here. Semi final game. Italy Spain. Mind you, Spain just came off a game where they. Had 28 shots against Switzerland and scored once. Okay, but the chances in that game, I, I and literally he bitched at you. Better over the next game. The chances. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you just say what you have to say because you can get your pity from everybody listening. So they can be like, "Oh, maybe Alex should have hit the bet. It didn't fucking hit." But go ahead, and explain yourself. There was plenty of chances in that game, oh, and okay. you're bitching about Spain. Italy had their chances as well. There should have been. There should have been one more goal. Hmm. After watching 120 minutes of that fucking game. You wasn't. You wasn't. Can't going, get one. You, you can't get one more. You well, you weren't gonna hit your bet in 120 minutes. Alex. It's a 90 minute bet, sir. 120 minutes wouldn't matter. It's regulation. No, I don't think I bet on that though. I think I did the. I think I did the three way. I don't know what exactly to bet on, but I did have that extra time in. It's just if it went to PKs, I was fucked. Because I didn't need a draw, and I needed the over. So once the PKs. That's kind of proving my point even more. Why? Did you put a hundred twenty dollar bet on the over? No, 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 no. <laughs> a hundred twenty minute, hundred twenty minute bet on the over still didn't hit. But, but keep explaining yourself. But that—that's what I mean, though. Like there should have been an extra half hour. Yes, dude. But the chances, like, like literally seeing that game play out, there were so many opportunities for that to happen. One goal, one goal. Spain misses net, misses wide open header, goes back, goes out of bounds, goal kick. Italy shooting it at the keeper the entire game. Okay, okay. I'm not mad about it because I actually like the pick. I really did. But keep losing your money, man. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's okay. The finals are on, so you gotta just hone in here. Last couple I think last couple days of, of hard betting. Or last I guess week. And then I can kinda chill out. 
Okay. Once the finals are done, I mean, I really have no obligation because the finals you can actually make some money. We'll see how you do. Then football comes around. And not, and not. And then I'll, I, yeah, right. I'll have an, I'll have and, a break and, until and, football. And we we should track you. Everything but El Capitan's bets. All Alex's regular bets. Bro. I don't want to do that because I trust El Capitan. No, no, no. I'm and the homie we Kenny. Should, we should just track it. And Jerry. We should just track it. No, I don't want to track it. Since you're so smart and all I'm your not. bets should have hit. We should just see how I, I, I'm not. actually should have hit. I, w- I wasn't going to place that bet. I was going to wait till El Capitan sent his picks out and Kenny sent his picks out. But I just was like, you know what? I'm going to go watch the game. Why don't I just make it interesting? Lose some money? I'm going to make it interesting. That's the word. Yeah, I feel you. Okay. Whatever. You're going to piss me off even more. I don't. You feel me, Christian? I'm not. What am I doing? I'm just asking questions. Oh like, I'm just like an old married couple over here. Boys. No, I'm literally just asking questions. I mean, I'm just like, why would you bet on that over if they? I'm just asking. It's just like, damn. Like, why would you? I mean, if you if you told the car, why did you look at your blind spot before you cross lanes? You told the car. I'm just asking. I'm not trying to make you mad. I'm just trying to figure out the situation. You know what I mean? So we can go forward and not lose fucking money, Alex. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, Shikari, what's your thoughts on Shikari Richardson not being on the run of the Olympics? Yeah, so it was Shikari Richardson, and then. Rachel Nichols, we have to have some a little chat about that. And I do want to just talk a little bit about the match after that because that was on yesterday. I think a lot of people may, may have forgot about, forgot about that because the finals were uh, were kind of in the middle of that on the back nine. No, the Phillies were in the middle of it. That's what everyone was watching. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, <laughs> like this, yeah, she's laughing. <laughs> and then we're talking about the finals because there was a, a, a spicy game one yesterday. Um, so Shikari Richardson, I don't know. I mean, everyone's already seen at this point. We've already seen what how Twitter's reacted, how the athletes have reacted, what most people have said, and how this is not a performance enhancing drug. Not at all. This is why this is I mean, for somebody to say, Oh, this is helping her perform better, this is helping her run faster. How? How? She if if you're smoking, there's something that's going into your lungs. So how are you supposed to run better when you're hurting your lungs? I mean, literally, go like smoke, go smoke and then run the hundred meter dash, and you tell me how you feel. Yeah, afterwards. go go try to run it like as fast as you can in an Olympic race and in a, in a trial race. I, I just, I simply won't get my head around it. I understand that there's rules you have to follow and regulations you have to, what's the word, abide by? Is that the word? Absolutely. You know, yeah. I understand that, but, I mean, I don't know. Like, would would. If anybody else, like, I just want to know if, like, if this happened to somebody else or if this was, like, would they do the same thing for anybody else? I don't know. Yeah. I just want to know. Josh like, Gordon hasn't played football in how long? Yeah, yeah. I know, but. I'm, My I'm, thing is, listen, I love Shakari Richardson. Like, I love I love you to death. And I and I do think it is bullshit that you're getting punished for smoking weed. Yes, I do think it's absolutely bullshit. I don't, I don't think you should be punished at all for it. Not even a little bit. But it's in the handbook. You know this. You were yeah, well aware. That mean. You were well aware. You were well aware of the guidelines. Josh Gordon, you were well aware of the guidelines. They're bullshit, but you know, you know when you roll that shit up, you took it. You know if you get tested, it's over. So I, I, I like it because it's, it's tough. It's so it's tough because I, I really like. I sympathize with her. Like she lost her fucking mom, dude. Like, yeah, that's, that's, you that's know the what coping I mean? like, mechanism. It's, 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 she it lost. Her, she lost her mom. Like I. It's it's not like she was like just chilling with her girls and just like ah oh, I got the Olympics in like two weeks fuck it like roll this shit up like nah man no it was a coping mechanism you know what I mean so it's like I do sympathize with her but at the same time it's, you chose to be an Olympic athlete you know the parameters that come with being an Olympic athlete you know you can't do certain things you can't hang around certain people you can't you know what I mean there's some things you gotta abide by like and it's it's tough man it's t- it's like it's just like applying for a job you're at a, you're at this job and they. They do drug tests every six months, and you are the best person at your job, and you everyone else knows it, and it's not even close. And you get caught on a drug test, they're still gonna fire you. It's it's against it's against company policy. It's fucked up. It's so drawing. Like I don't I I hate it. I hate it. I also don't like people trying to say that she shouldn't be punished for it because it's in the guidelines. Now, should you be punished for weed? Technically, no, you shouldn't be punished for weed. But if it's in the guidelines and you broke the rules, you should be punished for it. It's, it's plain. It's plain and simple to me. You know, that's and actually fu- that's actually it's, right. It's fucked up. I hate it. I don't don't think I should. Don't be. The, no, I'm not sitting here like, oh, Shakari should not run. She should be just like, no, 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 no. She should run, but she broke a rule. It's just it's fucked up. Yeah, I actually agree with what you're saying there because it's not that. Oh, it's weed. You shouldn't do it. You should you shouldn't run. 
It's because it was a rule. It's a rule. So yeah. I understand that. And it's and it's and it's, a, it's an event like the Olympics, such a prestigious event, like, and it's ran by boomers, so they're not going to pass weed laws yeah, facts, facts. faster than yeah, everyone it's else. Not, everyone you know what I mean? These are U.S. laws. These aren't U.S. laws. Exactly. You know, if this if this was the U.S. Olympics, I oh I really she probably been cool. Think she she would have been running hundred cool. percent. Yeah, yeah, because this is uh, Olympic rules. This is this is nations on nations it's on fucked. nations like, on nations. It should, but like one thing I do understand people. What people are saying, and I 100, I'm on all your, I'm on your guys' side with this. This situation should be the situation where we're just like, okay, then these we rules are pretty fucking dumb. Let's lift them and let her run. Like this is the this is this is a situation where you could really they should that's what they should have did, but they they didn't and they're not. And I think they will at some point. At though. some point, I think, I think this definitely sparks a conversation. Yeah, yeah, at, no, no, no. I think next Olympics they're gonna stop testing for it. My personal, my prediction. But I think they should stop testing for everything and my, see how fast these people. I have a can question run. though, because you know how the NBA doesn't test for weed, right? So do yeah, they have to get anymore. drug tested? Do they do they have to get drug tested for the Olympics too, though? Like, cause like they got to know, like, all right, these dudes are smoking all season, like you know what I mean? So I would think so. They I still would get think so. so I mean, yeah. then then there then there you go. Like Kyrie smoking all fucking year, and he can still pass a drug test for the Olympics. I don't know if he's going to, but I'm just I'm just using a hypothetical. Yeah, no, I understand. but I mean, it's tough, man. It's tough because well, when you say the whole like U.S. thing. You know, it it is true about if this was a U.S. Olympics because that would work because I don't know if, again, everybody on the Twitter world, social media, talking all about it, they were like, oh, well, it's legal in, what is it, 13 states or 19 mm-hmm. states? 19. So, like, th- that to that point exactly, you know, the, U- the whole U.S. thing, that makes sense, mm-hmm. right? If it was U.S. because 19 are... Don't give a shit about it. Mm-hmm. Nineteen and counting. And counting, right? So Connecticut just—I'm—I'm I'm part of a state that just legalized it a week ago. My thing is, yeah. like, what's the difference between between her smoking and fucking Brett Favre popping twenty Vicodins a day? <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> the the issues with, it, I mean, that just exposes because every people, issue. People ever. could people could say like, okay, it's not that we's a performance enhancing drug; is that we don't want our examples doing drugs. But you have your quarterbacks popping, not Ridland, popping Vicodins. They might be popping perks. We don't know. They're going to the, they're going Super to the, they're going into that blue tent, probably getting a shot up their ass. Like we don't like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? So I, it's a tough to sp- she, it's, a, it's a really by the guidelines. By thank all my boomers, by the guidelines. <laughs> like by, how he's looking at everybody. By the, by the rubric, he did break <laughs> by the, the rules. rubric. But, but, the, your rule but your rubric is fucking bullshit. And that's all I have to say about it. That's all I have to say about it. No, and 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 now there was an article released yesterday on ESPN, or it might have been this morning, um, just stating that that 30-day suspension is... Of, co- of course, of my fault. Of course they're crafty with it. Like, yeah, suspend her 30 days right now so she just can't run anything. Now, and, and, but... And it ends as soon as the Olympics is Well, over. no, it, it ends oh. It ends giving her a chance to run, a to run in the the 4 by 100 relays. They're not letting her. But she was... The they're roster was released and she wasn't on that roster. And in that same article... Um, oh, my her, God, my fault. I love... You see the girl that was like, this is... This is uh, uh, God chose me for this because, like, the girl that that she that replaced Shikari in the four one, she was like, God used me for this to show you guys that you can do this without doing drugs and da da da. Oh shit, the, I didn't see that. Shut the fuck. Nah, that's a low blow. I swear, blow. I swear. Nah, it wasn't like a low blow because I understand where she was coming from. I didn't from. see that. What she, the fuck? Because you know, no, no, she, she, yeah, she, holy, she like she, she religious. Oh, and she earned. And, and, she, she did her part. She and, worked and, hard. And, 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 I get and, it. And, and, you know, the Most High does use people in different ways. Like the Most High is using us to, 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 to speak about sports through the camera. Cool. I don't think she's. I don't think you're being used to be shown that drugs are bad. I don't think that's what you're being used for, honey. I think you're fast. You're cute too. No cap. You are a little cutie. I mean, so if you try, but I don't think. I don't think that's what God tried to do there. I don't think that's what he's trying to do there. Good try, though. Good try. Though. No, but we forgot to add though that the, this drug test where she tested positive for THC happened on June nineteenth. That's that's a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that's a, that's a month. Ago, been here a month. Yeah, it's 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 and, July seventh uh, today. Yeah, today. Wednesday, seventh recording day. God damn. So I'm sheesh. Uh, it's it's bullshit, but it's it's the rules. That's all it is, man. It's fucking. It really fucking sucks. Well, that's why in that same what I was saying is like in the same article. But damn, but damn. See, I just seen, I just seen. Oh, it's the NBA. It's the NBA though. But I just seen the Bulls get bent for somebody that was great. No, we saw LeBron James in the zone with no basketball. He's about to play a game. Adam Silver. Yeah, but say, that's. Shit. I mean, that's that's the NBA. It's rules. I'm just. I'm just trying. I'm exposing. I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm just trying to expose. 
how it's not congruent across all sports. Obviously, all sports aren't run by the same people, but it's just. I will say she is taking it like a champ, though. Because she is. Oh my god, I love her for her it. agent. In that article, her agent had said like they asked her, "Oh, have is there any comment on her not being on the roster to run the in in the four by one hundred relay?" And he was like, "That actually has not come up, like not once. We have not talked. We've not spoken." Oh, she that. owned it, and that's I, I, so, I, that's why I love. One reason why I, it's like I love her, and I I really was hoping they turned around her the decision on it because she wasn't like she owned it. She said, "Yes, yeah. like, my mom died, and I smoked. Like, mm-hmm. fuck you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, your your mom probably died. Whoever ran against me, and you probably just got shit faced. You feel me? Like, what's the fucking difference here? Right, right. But uh, no, it's a tough spot to be in. You know, I I totally feel for. Her. I obviously will never understand how she's able to go through that. I never will. Mom dies. Now I'm out of the Olympics. I'm sure a lot of of her which whole, her whole life like that like her whole life I'm was sure a lot her mom. a lot that she was going to be running for in the Olympics was obviously going to be for her mom and she obviously can't do that so that would eat at me they personally will, that would eat at me they're waking a fucking demon like, so you whatever know, chance she has to run again bro I feel for you might, 100% she I might do. break every record like they yeah, I saw a, an article they woke was, a like, the fucking title was, demon the title was like this is the last time you won't see her in the Olympics oh my like, like, like on a podium with a gold medal around her neck. That's what I'm saying. Like exactly. she's gonna snap on some Phelps shit, but it just sucks that the Olympics are always spaced out. You yeah, know so I mean? we got like we gotta wait again. That's the problem though, because like, does she have eight good years in there left? Right. I don't know. I don't know that. I mean, I think Shaq. I think I think I think she can. I mean, I think Allison Felix ran for like ten years. So go. I think she, I think Shakara would be cool. It just sucks that we. I I was. I just think I remember like the last two years because when she was at LSU, she started snapping. You keep seeing this little girl with all the all the hair and shit. Like, who's this Shakari Richardson girl? She's fast as shit. And then last year, you start seeing a little more clips of her, just here and there, and you just keep seeing this fast ass girl. Like, I don't know who the fuck it is. And then this year, like, she really started blowing up with the trials and all that shit. And I, everyone just really wanted to see her on the biggest stage. And it's like, fuck, like, cause she smoked a doobie, she can't run. like. <laughs> God damn it! Like, if y'all doing, if if people are getting punished for that, bro, I should be in Reich. I should be in fucking George Hill right now, man, for the shit that I do. Shit. Yeah, you. He was saying this earlier too. He was like, if she's gonna get, you know, punished for that, then everybody, everybody, if 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 everyone was, you know, what everybody said, if that was all. Oh no, no, it was, it was a Rachel. Say, Ni- it was Rachel Nichols. Oh, we, were yeah. about, we were talking about Rachel Nichols, which we're going to like, in a second. But I listen was, to this. I had said, I had said, if they recorded everything that. You fucking said behind closed doors with your someone that you trusted having a conversation, all you fuckers would be locked up. Talking about all this little sick little shit y'all be doing, bro. Y'all either be locked up, beat the fuck up, or asked out of money. But I know all y'all would get exposed if they had y'all conversations recorded every fucking day. But Rachel, you're still drawing. Yeah, no, we're gonna Rachel, that's a great up. transition. <laughs> Rachel, you're fucked up. Rachel <laughs> Nichols. Um the one thing I will say at the start of this is, and I said this to you already. I understand what she's trying to say. And might people might say, Whoa, that's you're you're racist. You're, you're. I understand what she's trying to say because this all stems from the twenty twenty NBA finals. She wanted that sideline reporting job. Because probably that's where the more money is, right? It makes sense. I get that. But not even I don't even there's think there's a money. way I think that you can say I think it's it. like status because we know Rachel Nick, like NBA girls, right? First thing to come to mind. I've been watching her since I was in like Rachel, sixth grade I'm on, saying, on Sports Center. When it comes to NBA, you know I mean? she's NBA, been there. NBA girls reporters, you think Doris Burke, Rachel Nichols? Mm-hmm, she's been there, and she runs the jump. So I can understand her being like, "I'm your NBA girl." Like, I what? get it. Like, I, I feel her. At the same time, you got to understand, like, bruh. My point is, she, it, she, it ain't about race. She made it about race. It's, it's not about race. You made it about race. At the same time, you can even turn the narrative and still make it about race. Oh, ESPN's helping young black women across the nation realize that they can do anything they fucking want to do. Rachel, do your show. You're getting paid millions of dollars. Sit the fuck down. Let people, let ESPN, if that's what ESPN was trying to do. Let ESPN inspire young black girls across the nation. If that's what they were trying to do. Because, I mean, there's an agenda right now. You can't say there's not an agenda. Right. But, 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 I will say. Oh, God. I got to be careful how I word this. What I was going to say while you think about that, what I was going to say is I just there's a way that she could have said it without making it come off like that's that. That's what I'm, I that's what I was kind of like, get. That's what really? I was kind of that's what I was kind of getting. I at. mean, there's there no reason so, to say it like that. There was, oh, she's black, she got the job. No, there was really? there were so many th- I mean, there were so many different ways to say that. I'm my thing is to play devil's advocate is like if you were talking to me about some chick that I was trying to go at 2 months ago and we were having a closer conversation I would probably be saying some things that aren't too nice. You know what I mean? And, and and if you recorded it, I would probably be fucked. You know what I mean? So I, I, 
That's why <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying. You know you know you know what I'm saying because we have these conversations, Alex. Yeah. If you would record the conversations that we have sometimes, I don't know. Like y'all wouldn't subscribe to me. Like y'all wouldn't. <laughs> but y'all fucked up too. Y'all crazy. You not like what? You not crazy, <laughs> motherfucker. Like so, I gotta play devil's advocate with it. But she's wrong. She's wrong. She's definitely wrong. I'm just, I just, I just hate how people, just because some people have clout or they're famous or they're, or they're, or they're up in the profession that they like have this facade, they should just be a perfect human being, and that's just never perfect. Doesn't even fucking exist. Right. So. Well, everybody now when you. That's get, why I have to play. Well, that's advocate. where the money comes in. When you get that money, you get the status, you get this fame. Everybody holds you to a different standard. Yeah, you're different. And, right. And, and deservedly so because you have to be a different. Oh yeah, you have to be. Yeah. Deservedly so, but I just, I just hate how. I hate how people just think like I see it with the athletes when athletes have like like I don't know they go ah oh, fuck let me be careful if athletes like like Josh Gordon <laughs> with his weed charge and shit people are like oh why can't he just put down weed he's not a perfect human being bro he might just be addicted to drugs you are addicted to something motherfucker you probably sit on your fucking phone all day for TikTok it's five hours a day you're addicted Drink to TikTok three coffees a day exactly like so we we all are fucked up so that's why like I'd be like same with Shikari Rachel Nichols like. I'd be on y'all ass, like, because you did, you did fuck up, but I'm a human, too. I understand. And that's where I think a lot of people have it messed up nowadays, well, especially with social media, because people go on social media and see, like, three, four people with, like, a thousand retweets, 20K likes, calling out people and, like, having all these, like, extreme views and shit. And, like, people think, oh, that's right, because a thousand people are retweeting it and people are reposting it. And maybe, like, yeah, maybe it should be this extreme. And that's sometimes, like, slow down so I'm like... Form your own opinion on the situation. Like, what do you actually think? Like, we don't we'll have just to do a little research. Do, she, a little, I mean, do a little research. Exactly. Like, she also didn't think that, like, she came out and said, I was, I forget what article I was reading. Um, and I should have, I should know that, but she did not, like, in this article, the quote was, like, she said that she didn't know that her, that her voice was being recorded when she was saying those things. Obviously so. Because she wouldn't, it's like her going out and on the NBA jump and saying, "It's like uh, she got that because she's black." I might go she back, wouldn't say that. Then, I might right? go. I might go back on what I said though. What do you mean? I might go back. I think I'm going to go back on what I said though. And say what? Because even like, okay, even if you recorded every conversation that we had behind closed doors, I've never said anything that fucked up, bro. Like you know what? I, oh right, no, I didn't say that. I, I've never. Right. I did. Say, I did say like, all right. I mean, you could record me for a month. You might hear some things that are like, bro, what? But like nothing that's like not moral. You know, you know like what I mean? She has to understand, like, because her not, saying it, the that. Part, you heard the part when they, the, when the, it was the dude that was LeBron's advisor, which is like even like kind of sketchier. LeBron's own advisor was like, yeah, I'm tired of this Me Too and Black Lives Matter shit. And she was in the background. <laughs> so that's where I was like, Rachel, whoa, whoa. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's kind of, she, she's, she is like, I do not fuck with her for this situation. I just think that. People should be well because the uh, fact it's hard. It's, it's a hard. It's, it's hard to tell people to be more sensitive because she's being really fucked up and she's not being sensitive. So if you're gonna be insensitive to my situation, I'm gonna be insensitive. Insensitive. Her to saying so that. I feel it. Her saying that, you know, she didn't know that she was being recorded. That doesn't like. It doesn't. That doesn't, it doesn't, that doesn't it, do yeah, anything. That, no, that if anything, that makes it worse. worse. It makes it worse. Like you're basically saying that on camera, I would just be. Yeah, that means on I'm camera, not, I'm fake as hell. Exactly. Like, so that's that's why I was like. <laughs> we, we, that's why when we start talking about it, I'm like, hold on, let me go back on what I said because I, like, nah, she's she's fucked up. Like she like, it, it, it nah, she's fucked up. I can't I can't even play devil's advocate with her. No, and and, and when you think we she dodged a bullet though. Oh, about it. bro, I'm trying to figure out how she has a job. She even, no, here's she the thing. She still has a job. This, this, is, where, this is where I wanted to go. Did you see the tweet where it was, it was, somebody was, was joking around, but I actually was like, it got, it got maybe like 219,000 likes and it was like, Paul Pierce smokes weed and has strippers on his Instagram live. Get fired Go on. Rachel Nichols. We're doing something legal, mind you. Rachel Nichols has, says some, you know. Very, very. I, I what's the word I'm looking for? Insinuated, Not, a, insinuated a lot of racist beliefs. Yes, insinuated a made lot. Some, of racist made some racist comments. I would, and, and, I wouldn't and, even say she outright said something racist. It's the no, insinuation. Well, also, it's the insinuation. This is that she was also that was a jab at that was a jab at ESPN as well. Oh my god. That yeah, wasn't just she, to she, Maria she, Taylor. She, she did say some. She did expose ESPN when she first started talking. She said, "Okay, ESPN, is this is if, this is because like she was saying shit that was right, but she was saying it in such a fucked up way. I was so confused. She was like, "Okay, ESPN, if this is like your agenda to help women out and have y'all been 
unfair to women lately. Like I understand. But she like, said I know because I'm a woman. Yeah, like, she but said that. It's like that's like okay, you're saying something right, but it's a cop out, bitch. Like shut the fuck up. Like yeah, you know what I mean. That's so like, she she because throughout the whole clip, like you you were lying to yourself. You're saying she didn't say something that was like factual, but said it in such a way that's like you're a dumbass. Like it's like why would you say that? I get what you're coming from, but why would you why why would you ever say like why would you? But say that's that? why like the tweet was like just struck me differently because it's like Paul Pierce, weed strippers. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Rachel Nichols takes a jab at Maria Taylor, takes another jab at the place that she is employed, giving her millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and that's the, the same article on ESPN saying she's going to stay, that she's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's, that's, that's honestly like probably... Well, and it didn't that's say that she's staying the, or she's not going anywhere. It said like that's probably, she hasn't lost her job. Yeah, that's probably the honestly worst part for me because... You're just showing what you tolerate. Well, because maybe maybe they're thinking about it because they 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 said no. There's no there's no thinking. There's there was no there was no thinking with Paul Pierce. There was no thinking with other people. There was no thinking with other people. There was no thinking with other people. They fired. That that your inactivity speaks way more than your activity, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Just the fact it's like, even if you don't, even if like as a the board of directors of ESPN, all y'all boomers, the old whites over there, even if y'all don't <laughs> believe she should get fired. If you care about the integrity of your company and you see how other people feel about it, get her the fuck out of there. Like, if yeah. no one's going to want to watch it. And that's why Manny and I had a conversation about this before we were, you know, over the weekend when this first came out and we we're talking about what we're going to talk about today. And I was like, you know, that's really sad because she's done. Because this is somebody who I used to get up an hour and a half early before middle school and elementary school to come down and watch ESPN with Stan Verrett. I really, and, I and Neil really Everett, liked. And she would be there, you know, I talk about really the NBA. liked. Liked, liked Ed. I really used to like her. It just stinks. Fuck now. So, and it, it stinks that she's now. But we were, you know, both of us were, were talking to each other like that, Yo, stating her hus- that her husband ugly as shit too. My fault. Yeah, Tyler, did text Tyler, throw that shit up on the screen right now, Tyler. Her husband, she made she made two bad but decisions. Her husband, no why, cat, no cat. She probably got more on the way. That's <laughs> that why we were. Like this. That's why we were saying like, you know, we felt. Like this stinks because it's like oh we did watch her when we were kids we you know we liked her and now we were saying that because we were like oh she's gone we won't see her again but now it's like is she gonna go is she gonna have a job if she but, has but a job. I find it funny though wait, hang on how it ties in so we're just talking about the Olympics and how you know they banned her for weed but that's what I'm saying they don't really dude do I was that, saying this to myself this morning but they follow the guidelines <laughs> I literally right. said this shit yeah. I said this shit follow the guidelines what have I been saying every every time I find I, I like say this every fucking episode I find a way to say oh that's full circle oh that's full circle no, it is, here it is it again is uh, once again it is full again. circle because it's, it's like like bro she smokes, All the guidelines. She smokes pot after she loses her mom. She can't do her job. Like, I'm just going to keep it so simple. She smokes pot after she loses her mom, and she can't do her job. Rachel Nichols insinuates major racism after she doesn't get the job she wanted, and she still has a job. Yeah, lose half of a job. Okay. You know, job. Okay. 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 I see how y'all moving. I see how y'all moving. It's Look, I mean, this week was we, it's crazy because it's like, you know, like these are obviously major headlines about what's going on. As shitty as it is to say, it is cool that we are seeing headlines that are not, you know, LeBron James did this I love it. or Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are doing this. I love you know, it. We're, this is crazy. I, I like seeing these types of headlines, but not for this reason. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're never yeah, gonna get yeah. to talk about, you know. Nah, yeah, hundred percent. You know, and the Olympics are right here. So we, we get that too. We shouldn't be talking about this, like Rachel. We shouldn't be talking about this, Rachel. What the fuck? Yeah. Like you know, like, you also gotta uh-oh. understand if you if you're mad that I just said that, you gotta understand like. We're like we're 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 in media as well, so well, we like, like seeing these. You know what I mean? Rachel, That's not Rachel, shitty Rachel, to say. What the fuck we is, find the Rachel? Bucks. What is wrong with you, Rachel? You, you be on LeBron dick, D Wade dick. You be hyped to interview Jason Tatum. All these black people, you be after the game. <laughs> um, how was your forty point game? <laughs> but then, but then, when, but, then when a, but then when a black person take your job, now you got a problem. But you love us. You love us when you get to interview us and, and use us for your own benefit, right? God damn, Rachel. I see how you move, shorty. I ain't mad at you. I just can't fuck with you. So, now you just brought up a good point. Now I want to ask you this before we move on. Do you think those guys, those guys you just mentioned, if she's ever like saw them reporting, you think they'll like? That's a fucking great question. You know? Do you think I they'll know, be like? That's a great LeBron, question. You know, LeBron is gonna have something to say. That's a great question. I I hope I hope she 
ESPN lets her do an interview with somebody, and I hope they turn that shit right back on her. Like if I if I was in the league and I had and like they're like Rachel Nichols the interview after the game, I'm like, oh my god, yeah. What did you say last week? Excellent. Excellent. Like, hey, Manny, um, you had a good game tonight. You had 20 points, 11 rebounds, four assists. Now, how'd you feel about? It? I'm like, yeah, Rachel, you had a good career too. You had a, you, you was on the jump. You was on ESPN. So how the fuck did you do this shit you did with? Like you know what I mean? I, <laughs> I, I hope someone does some shit like that. I mean, it is something to think about. That just popped into my head because I'm like, you know, those guys are going to be put in that in that situation. If she's still there, she's going to have to talk to the black NBA athletes. I don't think or, she's going to you know be put I mean? in that situation, bro. I think they're going to leave her on the jump and they're going to see how the ratings do. And if the jumps ratings don't jump Actually, and they go like point. this, she's gone. That's a good point. If the, if the jumps rating jump down, she's gone. She's gone. I think they... Cause what the hell do you... Like, where does she go, where does she go from here? I mean, she's back, to her, show. Like, go back to her ugly ass husband and just go caress him and fucking watch How to Get Away with Murder or something and binge watch Netflix. You fucking nut ass bitch. Like I don't know. Like don't don't make them crazy comments. Like you were a fucked up person. You did have you did have a like like you weren't wrong about some things, but the way you said it was really no. That's what I was saying up. in the beginning. Like I understand what the point that she was trying to get across, but she didn't have to say it that way. It, it, I mean that's it, that's the moral of the story. Listen, it doesn't. That's like, it. Just because that's just it. just because you can just because like. There's people that are right about things, but they say it in a fucked up way, and it still shows what kind of person you are. That's kind of that's how I am. But there is people that that are saying fucked up things, but they get it away correctly, where it doesn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. But so like, it's it's, it's, the, she, it's the reverse of that. I like I can see what she was getting at, and she I can see what she was getting at, but the way she said it to me, and they're like keep, keep laughing about that Black Lives Matter Me Too shit. You're a fucked up human being. You're successful, but you're fucked up. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And your husband ugly as shit too. <laughs> we'll have we'll have a picture of him come up. <laughs> I haven't seen the picture. I don't think so. I'm not gonna go oh, saying he's bad. shit. I put it in the group chat. I put it in the group chat. No, I have to look at it. No, no. We'll have Tyler put it on the screen. Um, he looked like this. <laughs> he looked like this. Too All bad. Right, to so see I want to touch on the match before we go to the NBA Finals. Um, I actually I knew this was coming on yesterday, but I just I don't know. I got lost track of time. Watching Italy and Spain, and then I come back, and they were on the fourth hole. Um, super cool, man. I mean, playing in Montana, it was Bryson DeChambeau and Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady and Phil Mickelson. Um, dude, the, the old heads. The old heads, the quarterbacks, and the old head uh, against the big bomber. It was cool as fuck. It was cool, and the the, the course they played at in, um, in Montana was super cool because it was Bro, like 7,500 feet of elevation, so on a... It was a par three. Um, it might have been. It was a par three or par four. I think it had to be a par three. Bryson hit a eight iron, two hundred and fifty eight yards to two feet three inches, um, because it, most of the holes that they were hitting, the tee boxes were downhill. Or it was were, downhill. They were elevated, so they're hitting downhill. So that's obviously going to make make it carry. But also the fact that you're seventy five hundred feet in the air, so it's also going to carry. Some of his drives were carrying four hundred yards. Now everyone's going to be like, oh my god, that's why he's a bomb hitter. You gotta take that into consideration too. You're downhill, downwind, maybe, and just being up so high. Anyway, that's gonna help the ball fly too. But it was cool, great views. I mean, it looked like uh, you know, like you're playing in the mountains because if you weren't on the fairway or you weren't in the rough, it was just like evergreen trees, it was really in the you know, just trees. They had some pictures of bears out there. Really? Larry Fitz was on the mic commentating. Charles Barkley was there. They're crazy. I Don't mean, forget, but they had Barack on there too. I said, <laughs> yeah. Here we go, 44. Like, they, had, oh, um, they had Baker on there. Yeah. Baker came in and talked a little yeah, bit. Um, that shit was cool, though. Wayne Gretzky came in and talked Tom, a little bit. Tom can play some golf. Aaron Rodgers can hit the ball, and he hasn't played in months. And he was playing that fade. He was playing yeah, that fade. Say, Rogers, I think Brady plays more than Rodgers for as much Rodgers probably plays, bro. He's He was making some putts, yeah. and that's, that's... Making some. I mean, that's... Did he miss a putt? No. I'm a, I, I didn't... I missed, like, a couple holes. But I, I, missed the, I missed the first... I missed. I was able to catch Bryson's chip after I missed, the fact. I nine, his chip in. I missed nine, ten, eleven. I mean, dude, nine, like 10, you 11, just don't I just like. I love when this and I, this is actually a crazy day that happened because like we had we had a Black Friday one. I think we had like a Memorial Day one for the the Tiger Woods and the Phil Mickelson one when it was Peyton Manning and and yeah, Brady. That was, that was last year, right? Yeah, that was last year in the rain. It was pouring rain. Um, but I love how they they're starting to incorporate this because this really started when it was just. Tiger and Phil, just the two of them. It was on Black Friday, and they bet, you know, both of them put up a lot of money. Um, but I think this is just super cool for them to do, get the athletes involved. Steph Curry's been a part of this as well. Um, 
I don't know. It's 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 fun to watch and seeing these guys play is super cool because I mean these uh, are one thing, one thing these I, one guys thing, are, are football one, players. The, really, honestly, the main thing I got out of that is Bryson DeChambeau is a fucking nerd. Like he's really a yeah. Nerd. And and you know what, Charles Barkley. Yeah, that. Thank you for really bringing that up because nerd. Charles Barkley did say this too. He's like he's a he was like I I've gotten a chance to to talk to him this week and meet meet with him and chat and everything and. People say, you know, the media portrays him to be such a jerk, but he's not. No, he's a, he's a sweet dude. And and that's what Charles was kind of saying. And, I, and when he said that, I was like, damn, you actually so right because, you know, you see headline after headline, Twitter. Especially every, the, especially oh, he's the, kicking out people because they said Brooks, so he's a douchebag. I was say, especially whatever. with the him, and, him and Brooks situation, they be trying to amplify that shit. And then when he's, because they're, they're, they have their AirPods in when they're mm-hmm. playing, so they're talking to the guys in the booth. And it just seems like he's just a genuine dude. He's a sweet dude. Like, so. He's a sweet dude. And. He's a fierce he, competitor. Like I mean, th- I think that's what you gotta really say. Far. He seems like he's smart as fuck. Yeah, he, like, he just seems like a fucking competitor. Like, yeah, that's I just that fierce competitor. Like I didn't have beef with so many people I played against because I'm just a competitor and they were competing too. But like, it, I think it's just, it was real cool to see how much of a nerd he was. Like he's explaining the shit to Tom and he's like, yeah, so. I'm gonna try to chip it on 12 feet under the green. There's a two degree uh, break here. There's a two degree <laughs> break down here. I think it's gonna stop at around 10 feet and curve to the right. I think you got a little right to left right here. I think you can make it. Just hit it down the funnel. Bro, you just told me eight different things. No, you said just hit it down the funnel. What the <laughs> fuck, Bryson? Like, what's your green card and shit? Motherfucker be on the green, looking at the green, and then pull his green card out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, you know, that's <laughs> actually, I mean, that's, but that's also double helping him, though. Like, that's, that, that is. A big tool for those players is that, that like, card. I never knew he break. was that much of a nerd. Like he really is a nerd. I, mean, I actually I don't want to say he's a nerd. He's smart as fuck. I, I, I he's smart. He he's calculates a it. Yeah, I he, also I not, like not, but all golfers ain't that. Like he, you could tell when he talks about things and like the calculation. He be he be calculating shit, bro. I was hearing on it. He was calculating shit. I'm like, bro, just play golf. Like just mm-hmm. just hit the ball. Like no, no I gotta hit the wind and I think we're going we're going downhill. So I got a ten degree fade at the right. Like damn, motherfucker, just hit the rock. Like, I like that um, Barkley was talking to Aaron Rodgers, um, obviously from the booth, and he was saying, you know, so do we have uh, an idea of where what the Packers situation is going to be in uh, September? I, feel so I think it was September 12th, or I think it was September 17th, and he was like, what's that? And he was like, oh, that's the start of the season. He was like, nah, I don't know. <laughs> kind of like trying to dodge it or whatever. And then he's like, I think they're they're supposed to be playing in some charity event, I think, next week. And he was like, you know, we'll talk about it whenever when we see that. And he's like, and then and then Aaron's like, and then you can, le- I'll tell you when we get there, and then you can leak it for me. <laughs> so everybody, and he's like, oh, we all want to hear the news, man. We all I, feel, know. I feel bad for Aaron, bro, real shit. Because he just. He had to have known he was walking into those questions, though. Oh, nah, yeah. Thing, I mean, the thing about Aaron Rodgers is, like, you can look back at him at Cal. Like, when he did that one interview with the babe and she was trying to hit on him. He's such like a laid back, just cool, drama free. Oh, I yeah. want to grow my hair out. I know his hair looked good yesterday. I want to walk on these mountains. If I just want to sit in the crib one day, I'm gonna do that. If I want to throw some footballs with my little janky ass tin strap, I'll go do that. If I want to be an MVP, I'll go do that. Like he's such a chill. Guy. If I want to go golf, I'll do. He cool guy. No headlines. He don't even talk. He'll talk trash, but he usually I see him a lot helping other helping up other people's teammates and shit. I'm like yo. Mm-hmm. Aaron a real cool dude. Let him just leave him alone. Yeah, fact. Leave him alone. Like, because well, he, I know it's bad when I'm not even involved in the situation. I'm asking my fuckers, bro. Just leave him alone. Well, he dodged that by saying like, you know, I'm. I, he would like say whatever and be like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But then he would say like, I'm just out here having fun playing golf with these guys. I mean, Tom Brady being out here with Tommy. He's like, and then one of the things was like, uh, now they were hitting on their drives. They were hitting about thirty to forty five yards in front of the pros. That's just because you know. Those the pros were hitting one of the par threes was six hundred and thirty three yards. You think those quarterbacks are gonna hit six hundred and thirty three yard par fives? No shot. So they moved down. I think it was like five eighty nine or five eighty seven. So on one of the shots, Aaron had beat Bryson. He passed his, and and they were like, "Oh, you got Bryson here." And he's like, "Yeah, these these young guys they, they get tired too easy. They, they they don't know they don't know about the work that that the old timers that like me and Tommy are doing." And I'm like. Oh. <laughs> Just Big lost track. it, bro. I'm like, Aaron, you're so funny, bro. Nah, he was funny as shit. <laughs> but I, I, bro, that shit was cool, though, because I liked how they just had, like, the, the mics on the whole time and shit. Oh, yeah, so cool. It was a real cool. It was a real cool match. Yeah, I can't wait to see it again. I hope, you know, I hope we get it soon because it's fun to see these athletes go out there. And, like, I don't know. I mean, I play golf, you know, and being on that stage, I don't know if I could do it. And those guys. Do and, what? Like, play golf like that. Like I, like as like they're not topping, they're not chunking, like they're they're hitting pretty damn good balls is sure. what I will say. And when you see them and like 
this isn't even their number one thing. You know, they're putting it, and they're able to go out there in front of these people, whatever, and do oh, it. Like, bro. I don't know, that's tough, I mean, man. if you think about it, if you gotta I, give some credit, if I had to, give a lot of credit, if though. I had to go to school, if I had to go to work for six months out of the year, I had $100 million in the bank. I could just pay anybody to teach me how to play golf, and I could just play golf. I'd be the best golf golfer I'd be disgusted. I hear you. I hear you. I'd be gross. No, I get it. I get it. I just and want to the, say it's crazy. They're though. natural. No, it is, it is crazy. At the end of the day, it's crazy. They're natural athletes. At right. the end of the Cause day, because golf, because golf's not a sport where you can't you can't teach anyone how to golf. You have to have some kind of like base foundation. That's like you mean. Oh yeah, yeah. You no. can't teach no, anyone. Well, cause, how, cause you can't teach anyone how to golf. But Tom did say that too, because he was just like. You know, he's like, oh, this is so different than, than what I do. So I mean, he's like, this game, he's like, I don't even know how I'm, I'm able to play this stupid, hard game. And it I'm is. like, it, it, it is. It, it's hard as fuck. It's hard. Um, but yeah, as we get over to the finals, um, the, the transition that I'll do here is is they were on 14. They were headed to 15. They had just halved. So they had to, Phil and Tom had to win, had to win out the last three holes to, to even, to tie the match. And um, they had just halved. Aaron made a good putt. And they they have the cart cam on Aaron, and he's like, you know, we got three to go. We could we could end it on this hole, and then it's time to go watch the Bucks go Bucks, you know. Yeah. So. When when I I know you saw this that hole, it was like when there was there was three holes left. Bryson hit a ball OB in the mountains, and then oh, Aaron took a I drop know. from the same. From, from Why the, the fuck did he do that? Yeah. So they actually like, yeah. is that like is there a rule I'm missing? Because I thought he could no, just so, drop. Right. So Barkley did. Uh, Barkley asked that question too. So Aaron hit his right, and it was in that fescue, which was he could pull it out and yeah. take a free drop or, or stroke penalty or something. He was he was able to take the drop from there because that was fescue or whatever, and he dropped it in the same spot. I was like what the fuck? And they asked, I forget his name. And that his shot name was hard. Like mind you, it was a hard. No, no, no shot. he did hit a great shot. It went yeah. in the trap. I don't know how he yeah. got the distance on that yeah. too because that stuff was really thick. Below his feet. Oh yeah. Too? Below his feet, right? He looked like he was like, aimed this way, and he needed to be it going wasn't that even way. Like it was like, like it was below. Oh his yeah, feet. no, that's what it I was. Like. And that's a tough time. He got choked down, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they asked one of the, I forget what his name was, but Barkley asked like the one of the PGA guys that was with them in the booth, and he was like, "Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know why he did that. Like he didn't have to do that at yeah, all." Yeah. So I, I mean, I guess they and they, they obviously are not going to have anybody. Like they don't have to have someone following them. I'm sure it's there's a guy to follow them. It's not that big of a deal. It's not a big deal, but it is crazy because like he was just like, wait, I'm confused. Why he didn't do that either? Yeah, like, and then you see Charles, and he's like, Charles caught that too. He yeah, was like, Car- Charles caught that fast. I mean, he's like, wait, why did he do? He didn't have to. I, he know, dropped it in the same spot. Me and Charles are like, because we, you know, why me and Charles caught that wide away? Because me and Charles do both that. fucking suck, and we always have to do that. So I know all the OB <laughs> rules. I know all the drop rules. You feel me? If it comes to OB, drops, hazards, I, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> I, I'm there every time, every hole. So I, I get how Charles. Yeah, no, that was a good question. Um, that yeah, was weird, but he still had a good shot, hit it in the bunker, and then um, Bryson did his thing from there. But okay, to the finals. Game one is uh, headed to the in Suns the in the books, and it is tally number one to the Phoenix Suns, led by Chris Paul. Um. Wow, I mean, I said this before we started. It's like it's like he's been here before, and he hasn't. Thirty-two points, leading the team, and you said it before we started. The box score doesn't do it justice. It doesn't. It doesn't. That I think, it, honestly, that was a great game. Mm-hmm. Like, and people were like, oh, but, uh, it was like a it was like a twenty point game at one point, almost thirty. Like, that was a great game. One of the one of my favorite parts about that game was there was a point in time in that game where you like. Mind you, the Suns are at home, mm-hmm. and Chris Paul is just having his way with Brooke Lopez and Devin Booker. They're just, they're getting the switch on Brooke, and they're just having their way. And and Chris Paul hit like a th- hit like a mid range, and then you see Chris Middleton come down the next side, and he Chris Middleton was fucking hooping. He spun off a of Tory Craig, dropped his ass, hit the little dink off the backboard. Chris Paul comes back down again. All right, you whatever you can do, I can do better. Has Brooke on him, does a little in and out, step back, cash. Uh, Chris is like, all right, cool. Chris, come right back I'm up down. now. <laughs> yeah. Bang. I'm like, yo, they're snapping. Like, it was one of those type of games where even when it was like a 17-point game, like, they were both trading good buckets, so it was good to watch. But then the Bucks ended up making it close at the end. But they they didn't they just, they just got down too far in the beginning. Hey, well, the honest was 17 boards, though. That Bo- dude is nice. Budenholzer. Dude is nasty, bro. B- Budenholzer. Or, or, <laughs> Mike, what, which, what camera are you on, Mike? I got to talk to you. Right that, right that, that one? Make adjustments, bro. What are you doing? You just let Brooke Lopez get abused for a half of basketball. They were just literally Devin Booker and CP were just taking turns with him. Oh, Devin, you want you want him right now, Dev? Yeah, here you go. Ew. I saw Ew. Get the switch. Like, how many times do you have to see someone come to the screen for Devin or CP and switch on Brooke Lopez for you to be like, oh, okay. I know you I know you noticed it in the first two minutes of the game. 
but you didn't want to switch up your coverages. Like you finally went to drop coverage on the, on the pick and roll in the second half, and y'all still weren't covering it that well. Like CP and Chris were getting off, but y'all cut the game close because y'all made an adjustment finally. I guess, I mean, game ones are just like that, though. You know, you know what I mean. I guess, so I, I can't be that mad at them for not making. An adjustment. I gotta give. They're I gotta that, give credit to y'all. I'll say this: if they cover those pick and rolls and CP and Devin get off like they just did, Budenholzer, you are a fucking idiot. But go ahead. I was gonna say I gotta give credit to Giannis though. Coming back from the injury, he's able to play. Bro, he's a dog. He's, I mean, seventeen rebounds, then get twenty points. So. Mind you, mind you, mind you. I don't like. I, I uh, okay. Let me be, let me be. I'm not a Giannis fan. I'm not gonna say I don't like Giannis. I do. I do like like him. And I respect him a fuck ton. Just from his story where he came from. Like I, I like Giannis, but I'm not a Giannis fan. I'll say this: I haven't seen many players play harder in the minutes that they get. Like he gets 35, 38, 40 minutes again. He plays the most minutes on the Bucks. I mean, Bron gets a lot of minutes. KD gets yeah. a lot of minutes. Like, they all get a lot of minutes. But I don't think anyone plays harder with their minutes than Giannis. Like, Giannis is all out on defense, all out on the box out, all out on the rebound, all out on the coast to coast. Like, he doesn't take plays off. And that's why I have a, a, a new, res- like, a newfound respect for Giannis. I just don't, like, you think that shit can hold up, bro? Like, he might just, like, he looked. Dude, they said. Bro, they were game, game, it, was like, it was a game five. It was a game six or game seven of the Nets series. He tapped his head and came out. He's never done that in his career. He's tired, oh, yeah, they were bro. saying that they have an assistant. Coach oh yeah, checking like, checking Mike. His job is to grab yeah. food and hold. Like yo, he's like, gassed. Yo, he get yeah, him out of the yeah, yeah. I he did won't that. come out. He Bro, did I did not hear that. That's actually so have smart, it. though. Think about that. That's gonna save his ass for this for it's, this series. It's smart, but bro. <laughs> But how do you be don't the you guy think, to be like, don't you yo, think like you're, you're, you're don't you think like you might be doing too much if you had to have another person tell you to take this motherfucker out like don't you think you might be doing you know, a little that, too much well, like, obviously like god damn dude he is a beast no do you mean like the coach is doing too much or you're letting Giannis do too no, much no like Budenholzer are like bro no I would say you're you, letting Giannis too much if you letting him do do too much if you don't know when the hell to take his ass out no that's what I'm saying but Budenholzer how do you how do you not know you're a coach you you are don't move from this position okay you're right here watching the game. You can't tell Giannis is tired? You just going to fuck him up for, for 40 minutes. You just going to let him get fucked up. Your whole... Yeah, but I don't think Giannis wants to leave himself. No, I don't he don't want to leave. I'm just saying, as a coach, why do you need someone else to tell you to make a sub? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, to me, is just like, what kind of coach are you? Like, you can't notice my man. Giannis be walking back on defense like this. He be at the line taking 15 seconds, gassed. <sighs> The whole 15, like, Budenholzer, you can't tell he needs a break. Like, a three-minute break, like... Give him some water, for God's sake. Yeah, but then he still runs the floor and makes a lebron block. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that was fire, bro. He just just plays so hard every single... Like, he doesn't care how... That's why I fuck with Giannis, but... I mean, if Frank Vogel has the balls to take LeBron out when he needs to take LeBron out, Budenholzer, I think you can take Giannis out when you think it's time to take Giannis. That's all I'm saying. Because, yeah, I mean, I ain't taking LeBron No, it's a little much. Um... But he says it's a little much. It's it's a little much. It's a little over the top. But I will say, I mean, but what else were they supposed? What else? What else were they supposed to do? No, I know. Well, the Bucks are supposed to make their hey, free throws. That's, that's fair enough as fair well. Enough. I would like. I, I like seeing that Middleton can be that dude when Giannis doesn't have to be there. And this oh, is, cash you know, money. He can do it. This is whatever the third se- third game, second game that we're able to see that Middleton bro, can be number one if he if he really has. We've to. been seeing this with Middleton. Like this is so nasty. We've bro. been seeing it with Middleton. Cash money been around for I, I, years. It, when is it? When is it time that we can consistently bet for? A thirty piece from Middleton. I mean, the problem with cash bro. money. The problem with cash this money. Okay. W- the whole time. The whole time. Like Chris, I, my man, guys call him Cash Money, so I call him Cash Money too. But Cash Money, bro, he been doing this for years. Yeah. If he didn't play in Milwaukee, in that small of a market, behind a player of that stature, the world would know. It's unfortunate the that the world would know. It's unfortunate that he plays in Milwaukee and then his teammates a two time MVP and two time Defensive Player of the Year. It's like ah. Uh, yeah, because no, you, you look know. past it. You look past yeah. it, which I'm sure everybody did, including myself. Yeah. So. Not anymore. Not anymore. And I think it's going to be a great series. I mean... This Bucks team is just missing Michael Red, man. Let's think about this for a second. So, yesterday was game one. So, Friday's game two. That would mean two days to travel and practice. So, then Monday's game three. Probably. Probably. And then Wednesday would be game four. Okay, because I was just trying to see, like, damn, are we going to be... How many more shows are we going to have from it? Maybe two more shows? Yeah. Two more shows of basketball? <laughs> <laughs> And then what are we gonna what are we gonna talk about? That's what I'm MLB saying. We're gonna write right to baseball. We're gonna write to baseball. We cool. MLB playoffs. We, yeah, we gonna write to baseball. And and you know, and, and I, 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 you know, low key, I know, not not all of y'all, but some of y'all, and the the, the very few y'all that are waiting for us to really go full fledged on baseball, y'all are my fucking guys, man. Because I can't wait either, man. I can't <laughs> wait. But anyway, we gotta stay to the finals. Yeah, no, I mean, 
Well, I just wanted to say, like, this is why I like having... Y'all are fucked. We're on your ass, too. You know? <laughs> this is why I would say, you know, like, having these Shikari Richardson and Rachel Nichols, we don't, you know, we're not going to find those top headlines. So I like when those things happen. And then... Oh, I love it. Now that we get to have... Wait, I got to be careful. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's what I said. No, I said this, too. I, I, I said... It, clip it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I said. I said, you know, it's not... I'm not saying that, like... I said it earlier. I'm like, we're we're in media. Like, we like that. You know what I mean? Like, like we like seeing those topics. It's not like, oh, it's that shitty to say. But we, we're media. We we have to cover that or I mean, talk about that. So we like I mean, seeing I think that. The, I mean, that the whole world is like that. I mean, everyone was talking about Shakara. Everyone was talking about Rachel. Like the whole world. Like, but it's not like oh, we don't you know. we don't like that it happened. That was the headline. We just like when there's something different going well, yeah, on. Yeah, because it's not like, oh, CP3 in his first final game, yeah. his first NBA Finals appearance in game one, wins it for the Suns, and you, now we go to game two, Suns are up on now. You know, everyone's going to fucking say that. We just wanted to say our piece, and that's why, you know. Oh, actually, I, I want to congratulate you too, man. Congratulations on winning the Stanley Cup. Um, It's coming it's coming home very soon. Congratulations. <laughs> unless, they, unless they blow that shit. If they, if they blow that shit, I need you to come in here with a Canadian jersey on it. If they blow, the, if they blow that lead. Okay, my second team stand, right now is stand the Tampa on last for the show. If the if the Canadians come back from a three zero deficit and win that series, Alex has to wear a Canadian jersey on this show. Fuck man, that's gonna run me some bread too. I'll gonna run you some bread. You're a Rangers fan. It's gonna run you some pride. I'm gonna make you wear. A, I'm gonna make you wear a Carey Price jersey. Too. No, I'll, yes, I'll, I'll, yes, I'll get a, yes. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make you wear a Carey jersey. No, 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 no. I don't want you to be someone you I like. like I don't want to be someone you like. You gotta wear a Carey Price jersey. That's the one right okay, there. Okay, so what did you or, get? Or 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 Sherrod. You can wear Sherrod jersey. Mm. Hey, come on. The big boy. No, I like I like Gallagher, bro. It can't be somebody he's, you like. He's, he's it can't dirty, be somebody bro. you like. Hungry, it man. can't be somebody you like. All it can't right. be somebody you like. Well, because I don't know if you saw, and, and I'll kind of finish up with this, but the mayor of Tampa, yeah, I don't know if you saw this clip. I she, didn't. She said, let's win. Let's let, you know, Montreal get their win. No, she didn't say that. And then we'll bring it back to Tampa and we'll win no, it back she, here. No, she didn't say that. Did she actually say that? She said, I'll pull the clip. Oh, my God. I'll gonna, show you at the video. They're going to fuck now, 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 the other thing was, too. Now, the other thing was before. So, I was going to bet on that game before that. And I was going to take lightning money line. But then before this, before the, the mayor of Tampa said this, a news story came out saying that the Tampa Bay Lightning wives can't go up to Montreal to celebrate. So, I said, nope, not touching the game. Not touching the game. Because, no. Yo, and then yo, she said that. They, so now they're going to come back to Tampa and they're going to kill him. Hey, fuck around and lose. They're going to come out. And, no. Bro, now you know how hockey. No, what's the most, no. what's the, what is the second most, what, besides power play goals, what's the second most important thing in hockey? Momentum. Feel me? Bro, this is, she said, let him get one. Literally. That's dangerous. It is. It 100% is. I mean, listen, I always knew everything. I always knew anything is possible in hockey, right? And then I got it reinforced when I seen the Flyers come back from a 3 0 deficit. Mm. Then I got it reinforced. Well, Montreal's already won. Then, then, then I get it reinforced again when I see your guys lose to Columbus. So I just, I, your second team. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm just saying, <laughs> that's a bit like hockey's not a sport that I want to play. Like basketball, you could maybe do some shit like that, especially 3 0. Hockey's not a sport where I'm fucking around with that, bro. I mean, I'm, I might have to take it's a flight. A, but shout, shout out my man Chip. This is his, his is his saying. I'll take this. You could trademark it. It's a fucking puck on ice with skates. Anything, like anything can happen. So for y'all to be like mentally, be like, nah. Like, of course they went out there and played hard and did their thing. But if, but, <laughs> but mentally, mentally, my mayor just said, let's let them win this game. My wife is ain't, ain't gonna be up here for my after championship festivities. So I'm mentally checked out of this game. To have you saw they did get a little momentum in that game. They feel good about themselves. Yeah, no, they I they mean, feel good. You can tell they feel good about wanna, themselves. And here's the thing though, it still went to overtime. So the lightning is still I, at them. I, I that's what I and that's the that's the one thing that's like scary, right? Because you could just take back everything I said and be like, Manny, well, the lightning still took them to OT and they weren't mentally in the game, so that's kind of scary, right? And like, yeah. But so when they get back. But it's just like it's just like momentum in hockey. It, you a win's a win. You, they could have won a shootout and, and you could still feel the momentum. Like even an OT win, you can feel the momentum. They're probably feeling not great, but they're down three one. But they're probably feeling a little bit better. Well, and the the thing that's that Montreal has has going for them is simply the fact that they have been in a three one situation before, before in these defensive playoffs, minded team, and they can do it. So, and I think I think being a defensive minded team, kind of scrappy team, helps in these situations too, because it's like like you can just steal games. Like they can steal games so many different ways. The Canadians. oh yeah, and I've 100%. seen I've seen them steal. 100%. I don't like okay. I don't watch a lot of Canadians games. No, I don't I, either. I can probably count on one hand how many Canadians games besides the playoffs. Like yeah. A couple times they play the Flyers, mm -hmm. and I might have caught a game like if I was bored of shit. But like they can win games a couple different ways, bro. 
they get they'll score shorthanded on you. Like you'll see Suzuki just leak out shorthanded going out tied. What the fuck? They'll score a little the little Galger in the slot, a little flicker. Like they they can do a lot of different things. They can do a lot of different things. I Lightning. I don't know, man. I'm just saying I think that's a risky I, next week when that series is. What do you say? What do you say? That's an interesting strategy, Cotton. I'm gonna see if that works out for him. <laughs> the bold strategy, I'm Cotton. See, I'm, gonna see, I'm gonna see if that works out for him. I'm telling Tell you. Him, let him get a game. I'm telling you, when they win, I will wear my lightning shirt. As I have my Rangers thing behind me and my Rangers thing behind me. I, I will wear my, wear my lightning shirt when they win. Fucking pussy. Hey, dude, I Imagine got having a second team. I don't have a second team. I just a, got that's such a cop. I have like, family. My team, my team fucking sucks. So I have a second team just whenever my team gets knocked out. No, it's not. It's just it's such a, it's cop a classic out. Rangers fan move. No, oh my it's God. not. Oh, stereotypical. Bro, I'm not being put I mean, in that category. Rangers. That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. The Rangers have been young for you know, four years now. They've been young. Oh my God. Oh, chill. Chill on me, bro. Chill on me. Everybody get off hop got, off got, got players fighting at any i mean like God, yo yo no year. dude i saw this last how's thing, your boy tony d'angelo fucking doing? last thing last thing i saw a fucking uh seattle kraken like mock like you know how they pick players so you know expansion draft they pick players mm-hmm. so i saw a mock draft on that and i saw in the reserves tony was on that team I'm like uh oh the motherfucker might get no chance <laughs> Damn, so it might be over for Tony. No, you, no, he might get another chance because he might go to Seattle. Oh, the oh, he's, oh, he's in the reserve. Oh, like so. So I was like, I was saying like, oh shit, he might get another chance. Oh, he, can, he probably get another. I mean, so I'm like, oh man, Tony D'Angelo isn't a bad hockey player. He's, yeah, he's a just fucked up, dude. Cancer for a locker room. <laughs> yeah, he's just <laughs> you know. Up. So I wouldn't be. It wouldn't shock me if he gets another chance. But. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the, I guess, different types of topics here. I don't even know. What, I don't know what the title is. We talked about a lot of different things. Yeah, no, I don't know what the hell we're going to make the title is, but we had a great time doing it. <laughs> Good show. Shikari Richardson, Rachel Nichols, a little bit on the match, finals, goddamn Tampa Lightning. You know, what do we Alex cover? dumbass bets. <laughs> you know, we're all over the place, but I enjoy it so much. If you want to follow us on the Twitter page, you can check us out at ADED Podcast. Um, you know, we're having fun on there, man. It, I like tweeting out random shit. And nah, I was giving say, updates and fucking y'all, y'all been going crazy, dude. We're like we're getting followers out the wazoo. Y'all been going, so. uh, would you? Oh, now we gotta stop the show. I can't do too. Much. I'm off show, off show. But y'all been going crazy, man. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking. About. I, I I really I didn't think, bro. I think it was just like, wasn't it two months ago, bro? I think I had like a monologue on here. It was like. Listen, there's only 90 of you guys following, but like, oh, yeah, we, yeah, facts. We, we appreciate all 90 We're of like you. We're like 360 or something. Close to, I guess, like, bro, what the fuck is happening? Like, you guys are nuts, dude. Like, so I, yeah. I appreciate y'all. Like, I mean, y'all see me out. I, I First thing people usually say to me is, like, I see the podcast, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. That shit, like, you don't understand how much that means, bro. Like, seeing a comment, a like, it's on, the, on a post, because, bro, we be putting ourselves through hell sometimes to get content out for y'all I mean, yeah you know what I, Yo, mean? I finally we, we finally got started seeing some dislikes it's about fucking time thank you disagree with me call thank me you. an idiot thank you call I may- me an idiot and tell your friends that i'm a dumbass so your friends can click the link thank like, you i love it i love we it get, we were getting some more hate from people we don't want to get hate I from love you know what it. Mean? So, i love it I love <laughs> you know what i mean oh you my mean? god hate so, let me know everything you hate so i like seeing right hate in the comments after from you dislike random it. people and after you share the link share the link too so that's it right there and the other thing too is like I made a grad video, I made you know the grad video and everything. There somebody disliked that. I I I I mean I, I off camera. I, t- I I I off camera. No, bro. I know what you're gonna say, but shut the fuck up, bro. No, it was a good I, video. I loved it. I loved it. I had ideas for it. I love the video. I'm just saying, people. I can see people being like, "What the fuck is this?" No, I get it. But y'all get gonna it. have to get used to it because we're gonna do. Well, it's right. about time. We've y'all been searching for get, fucking dislikes. Y'all gonna have to get used to it because we will be doing more vlogging type things in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. If you did dislike it. Uh, go, go watch Pat or something, bro. Pat, cool. He don't vlog. So. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're building. We're building a f- channel all day, every day. LLC over here. So everybody Listen, suck this it. is my. This is this is our shit. Yeah, this is our lives. Here. You don't like how Why we do our. Can't we, we, don't, we don't like how you, we don't. You don't like how we do our shit. All right. Get four hundred dollars. Get some one of these. Get you some money. Get you some of them. Get you some tripods. Go, sit, get you one hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred dollars. Get you one of them. Two hundred dollars. Get you one of these. And you sit down and do a better job than I'm doing, motherfucker. But that's the cue your music. I'm signing off. <laughs> oh, uh, hit us up on Instagram at ADED Pod. See some clips. Manny and I have yet to continue to go out and get some pictures. So hopefully we'll get that to you guys soon. Cause I'm grinding, baby. Um, I don't go out. I grind, baby. I'm trying to take shit to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the TikTok as well. Uh, I got to get some more clips for that, and we got to hop on some trends. Manny and I were arguing this morning before we started because I want him to do a trend for me, but he won't this fucking do it. Want me to dance on camera? Bro. It's easy. Do, bro. I look like, do I look like a motherfucker that's going to dance on camera? Do I look like look, that's the TikTok right there? Cut it. TikTok done. Get up, get up there and shake his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
That's what it was. Cue yes, the sir. Fucking, cue the fucking music. I'm, cu- I'm cueing and I got we're, nothing. We're embarrassing ourselves by the second. <laughs> the fucking music. All right, all right. I'm going. I'm going. Appreciate you guys. Stay great. Be great because you fucking are. Oh, my God. We're finally at the end of this bullshit. <laughs> You've been listening to the All Day Every Day Show with All Day AJ and Manny Ruffin. My name is Alex Jacobs, but you can call me All Day AJ. Until next time. Yes, sir.